Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time and today we'll be doing a quick 10 minute install courtesy of my first wig. They sent over this beautiful 10 inch bob and as you guys can see, not stiff at all. So this one is going to be a semi glueless install. I did glue down the sides because of the sideburns, but in the front you can see it's not glued down at all. This wig fits my head like a glove, so you know I don't have to install, which makes it super simple and easy for day to day. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the video. Let me know, are you feeling the look? Are you feeling the vibe? Should I do my baby hair? No baby hair? Should I take it with the sideburns? What is Tasis? Anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. I fell in love with Ashley. Down in Miami, we got nasty. I'm not ashamed, I'm not ashamed. Jumping right in to it, this is what the wig looks like on. This one here is a 10 inch side part yakky bob. And here is a look at the inside construction of the cap. They did include an adjustable elastic band, and of course, their logo is embossed. Next, I'm going to start the customization process. We're going to go ahead and take our scissors and just cut the wig along the ears using the actual ear as a guide. This is going to help the wig to be a custom fit for you. All of our heads are a different size or a different shape. So that extra lace on the side makes it so that everyone can fit the wig and you just cut the excess lace to fit perfectly. Now this is what she looks like on with no, you know, styling or anything like that. But you guys know we got to go ahead and style her up. So I'm going to cut the remainder of the excess lace. I kind of like to go ahead and do like a zigzag jagged motion. It just looks better in person than to just cut straight across because this is lace. No matter how nice the lace is, you kind of want to make it melt and camouflage as perfect as possible. Here I'm just using a Tresemme heat protectant to go ahead and to just protect the tresses and my investment. I want to make sure that this one lasts a good while. So using a heat protectant is a a good idea here I'm showing you that that the wig actually fits my head glueless and I don't need anything I did do a light layer of the um, glueless adhesive and I'll have the one I used linked in the description box but because this one fits glueless along the center I did not have to like blow dry it or bond it down I just added that pro the product and I'm going to allow it to air dry on its own and that is the beauty and the plus with wearing a wig that actually fits your head glueless so here I am bonding down the sideburns I did opt for a little bit of sideburn action with this one so I did have to pull it forward and kind of like bond it down it was a cheat because on this side I just kind of let the wig go behind the ears I did use edge control to make my edges blend perfectly with the edges or you know the hair on the wig because this is a yakky texture it did fit and match perfectly here I am I'm just using an edge control from bdeckbeauty.com and just smoothing out those sideburns I love 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 the way sideburns look with a short bob even when you're not doing any baby hair so a curved parting is more so the trend these days. So I took the straight part they provided and just curved it out at the back. And then I'm going in with my Dynamic Duo, which is the wax stick and the electric hot comb. And I'm just pressing out this area and making sure it's as straight and, you know, flat and flawless as I can possibly getting it. Repeating this step along the hairline so that it looks like the wig is coming out of my scalp. I feel like when you don't have... Uh, baby hair you definitely have to really 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 step your game up and make sure that the front is laid 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 and I'm so happy that the lace already matched my complexion also I'm happy that they did pluck out the hairline perfectly so I really didn't have to go in and customize anything I literally just you know like I said did the dynamic duo which is the wax and electric hot comb and that did the trick for me now I'm just taking my Bebeless flat iron and I'm just bumping the ends more so. The hair didn't need to be soaked out or anything like that, but you do want to make sure that that bump is perfect. This is what's going to set the wig off and make it just look extra, extra, extra sleek. Here's what it looks like when you pretty much you put your wig on before you uh, style it. I'm just taking the flat iron and just trying to bump little sections at a time. I have no idea what it looks like, but again, it came out perfect and I was impressed. 
Now the icing on the cake is just to add a little bit of powder. You can use concealer, foundation, whatever you choose as a lace tint just to match your complexion and make sure that the wig is as seamless as possible. I think this came out amazing and I love the fact that this is a beginner friendly install. You don't have to be a professional or anything like that to cut the lace and to just make it fit your head perfectly. I'm super in love with this one and this for sure is going to be a holiday staple for me. Not me trying to dance because you guys know I am not Gen Z. Okay, love bugs. We are done with the look and I look so good. Now this right here is going to be the perfect Thanksgiving and Christmas look. I feel like it's sleek. It's timeless. Even for like holiday photos, which are coming up for like um, the family and I, this is one of those looks that's timeless. Like if you do a sleek bob like so, and then you look back on your pictures five years, 10 years, 20 years from now, it's not trendy. So it'll always, always, always be a good look. So I approve. Also when it comes to like cooking on the holidays, it's nice to have a shortcut so you can kind of like push it back out of your face and not have, you know, 30 inch, this and that all up in the food this one did come from my first weeks as we already know and this is the packaging as usual kind of festive for the holidays but this is their permanent packaging um and then they also sent over a um portable or um collapsible i'm not sure the word i'm looking for but like basically a portable wig stand so this can live on this you can just um Put these together, pop it open, and like at night when you shower or like overnight when you get in bed, you can put your wig on that. That way, like how I have this perfect cut, you can go ahead and lay it on that perfectly so you don't have to like re-flat iron or bump it um, in the mornings. You guys know if you take your wig off and you just put it on the counter, sometimes it'll be like a little crimped or a little bent. That's going to keep it in perfect shape. And you can also travel with that for like hotels and, you know, your luggage and all of that. Inside the box was this dust bag as always. And they do give you... Um, Always like when you get your dust bag, your wig is in here, but usually there is also a pack of wig caps in there, which they color matched me perfectly. Got me my chocolate brown wig caps. And then they also give an info card. This one has your order number on it. And then it also tells you all about your wig. So this one is a yappy texture, 10 inches in length. Um, the color is natural. Um, it's a size one cap which is kind of typical to a small, maybe a medium, 21.5 to 22 inches. You can measure your head with a measuring tape to see. My head is actually 21.5, 21 and a half. So um, this one fits me like a glove and it actually fits glueless, which is perfect. And then also cap construction. This is a 13 by six lace front wig. Um, it's a free part, so you can switch the part of if you want to do like center part or switch it to the other side. 160% density and then the lace color is light brown. I like light brown lace because I'm able to add a powder at the end and it matches perfectly as you guys can see. Sometimes when I do a brown, like a medium brown lace, it usually or sometimes is a little bit too dark for some reason. Even though I'm brown skin, I'm not sure why, but not from this company, but just in general. So a light brown just is kind of more safe sometimes for me because sometimes a darker brown or a medium brown works, but then sometimes it doesn't. Also, there are more goodies in the bag. You have your flyaway tamer, which is the perfect um, wax to go ahead and like melt your hairline as well as like smooth your lace, your hairline, your parting and all that down. This also is the wig, not healer, no bleaching. That's perfect. And then they also gave the reusable pouch. It does have their logo on both sides and this side it has like the stripes reusable so you can add this to your makeup bag your travel bag this can be your makeup bag your travel bag all of the above inside is a rat tail comb and two dolphin clips so like you can take all of this stuff out and like put your makeup in there and that's really cute or you can just leave this for like a thing that you keep in your purse that has all of the things you need to touch your hair up and then last but not least they for sure spoiled us this time around a bonnet and really cool it's a nice double line so you can wear it black bonnet or you can wear it as a burgundy bonnet and even better is that this one does have their logo in the front and then in the back you do have a jawstring and the jawstring is made to wear no matter what side of the wig that you wear it on or the bonnet that you wear it on you'll be able to use it that way if you have a small head you can kind of tighten it or no matter what size your head is basically it can tighten 
So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Be sure to check out the description box for a direct link, all the details um, of everything we use to complete this look, including like the flat iron, the hairspray, and so forth. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!